Hi, this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, where I teach traders just like you how to make money in the stock market. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I set up my moving average chart, so I just wanted to do a quick video here to show you how to do it in TradingView. Now, I think anybody can do this. I happen to have a paid account with TradingView, but I believe that this works for a free account, uh, but I'm, I'm una unable to, to test it. Uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So what I'm going to do, I just have a chart open here in TradingView. I'm going to click over here. There's this um, this little uh, line right here, this little um, symbol. I'm going to go down to New Chart Layout. Go right here. So this is a basically a new chart layout. Uh, let's just add SPY, the S&P 500. You can see this is the default setting in TradingView. Daily chart. If we look over here, this is a daily chart and it gives you the volume as well at the bottom here, just the daily volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple indicators, which are the ones you probably see all the time uh, on my in my video. So I go up here where it says plus indicators. I click on that, and then in the search box, I just type in moving average, and then click on moving average, and I'm gonna click on it twice so I can populate the chart with it twice. So you'll see the default setting is a nine period moving average, in this case, a nine day moving average. But I'm gonna click right here on the little uh, settings uh, gear box. And for style, let's see, I will do, uh, this is gonna be the short moving average. So let's make it, uh, we'll make it a light green. And then under inputs, we're gonna click the length or the period, we're gonna do 50 day or 50 period. Source is closed, that's all default, uh, click okay. Now we're gonna do the same for the other uh, moving average that we added, the style. This is gonna be the slow moving average. I like to use red for slow moving, moving averages uh, because of the obvious stop sign uh, connotation. And the length here, we're gonna use 200 day or 200 period. Click that and you basically have the, uh, the chart the way I use it. Uh, you can see we still have the volume down here. This top line here is this uh, green line. I think maybe I have it blue, but this top line is the 50-day uh, moving average, and the red line is the 200-day moving average. You can see there's also a horizontal line here. That shows you, uh, I believe, the, the, the previous closing price or the last price during the trading day. I don't often have that in there, so what I will do is I will right-click on here. I will click where it says price line, and that removes it. That sort of uh, cleans up cleans up the chart. Now this is a very nice chart. It can tell you the trends, how the trends are moving. So if the 50 day moving average is above the 200 day moving average and the stock or index is trading above the 50 day moving average, uh, it's a good indication that you're in an uptrend if you are in a trending market. You can also, what's nice about the volume down here, you can look for volume spikes, especially on earnings. And um, I like to use that for measuring, for example, post earnings announcement drift. That's the basic way to set this up. As a bonus to this video, I'm gonna stick a link to this chart in the description notes below. So even if you don't know how to set this up, you should you can uh, click on that and you should be able to, to use it. Now let me show you once you do that, how you're gonna add. If you have a free account, I don't think, so what I do is I just, I click right in the middle of the chart and then I just type in a ticker and it populates it. If you, if you don't have a paid account, what I think you need to do is go up here and type in the ticker. Let's just use, um, you use R, we'll use RMD. And when I click add, after I, sorry, tick, I add the uh, ticker here, I, I hit the uh, return button and it populates the chart down here with the ticker. And now if I just double click on this ticker, it will populate uh, the, uh, uh, the, the chart here. So for example, if I wanna see Netflix, I can double click on this. But again, if you have the paid account, you should be able to just uh, click anywhere in the middle of the chart add the ticker, and go from there. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this or just follow what I'm doing in the stock market, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.